Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at upgrading to the Gatsby Head API. So until now you had to use a plugin which would use React Helmet in order to update the title and description on each of your pages. Uh, but now this is built into Gatsby, um, so we no longer need that plugin. So might as, might as well um, start using this, just uh, one less plugin that we've got going forward. And suppose it is a little bit faster as well. So just gonna see how easy it is to upgrade to this today. If you find yourself enjoying this though, um, feel free to click subscribe below. You'll Get updates for future videos. All right, so Gatsby Head API. If I scroll down here, what we're going to need to do is replace our helmet syntax with uh, a function on each of our pages, a function called head uh, that will return a fragment and then with our title and information in, in uh, contained within. Um, so we need to make sure you've got Gatsby version 4.19 at least, I think. Just basically going to want to update um, to the latest anyway. If I look at what I've got on here at the moment, I've got 4.21. So each of those has got the Gatsby head API enabled. All right, first thing we would want to do is come into package.json and nuke this plugin. This is why we're doing it. It's going to be one less plugin to, to have to manage. So... Uh, React Helmet goes from package.json. Uh, and then if I come into Gatsby config, I would no longer need it in there as well. So I'll delete it from there. All right, that's going to break a lot of stuff. So if I go into my pages, uh, so into source pages. Now I'll just do one of them here and then I'll speed up this part because I've got, I've got a few pages of them on. So we just need to see one really. Um, but we're not going to need this import for React Helmet anymore. That can go. And you can see where we were using it before. We would just be having this um, this section here. So I'm going to take the contents of that. Uh, we'll keep that and then just get rid of Helmet there. And now in here, we need to do what we saw, which was create that head function. So we want to um, export um, head. And we want to just return a fragment so like that and we can put our tags in there so we got our meta tag there uh, the title and description um, and so we just need to do that on each of the pages and that's for just just standard pages um, so I'll go through the others now and speed that up and then I'll show you how to do it for pages that are generated as well All right, so that's all the basic pages done. We just create an export a head function and just return a fragment with those uh, the title and description tags in there. Um, now, if when you're generating a page based on um, external data from a CMS, say, so I've got one here that's currently created for every credit card. Um, we can still do the same in here. And well, if we look at what I'm doing at the moment, I've got some structured data, some JSON LD uh, for each card in order to help SEO. Uh, you can see I'm referencing it in the React Helmet here. Um, but we can just use this in a similar way. If I grab uh, that data that I want to use, take it out of my page, um, and then come up to the top here, then I can do a const, sorry, export const head. Uh, now, we don't want to return straight away this time. So I've got my fragment, and I put that data in there. Like so. And then let's go and grab this structured data again. So there's that structured data. Yep. So I can do exactly the same as I was doing within the page. So create that script and then reference it here. 
Um, the thing to notice is for each page when you're generating, you're getting passed in information. Um, and and we, we get that into the head function as well. So I can grab what was being passed in, the page context, and place that into my head function as well. Um, and which means I can destructure these guys. And paste that there. Okay, and that should work. And now I can get rid of React Helmet there. And I'll just check in history. There's just one more page. Yep, with that. Are you sure this is referenced in here? that and so just one more export here to do like so okay that should be everything updated let's see if that builds uh, it might take a second this I'll speed this little bit up All right, so that works. Um, so let's do, just try and show what was going on there, so, so we can see each of the pages are picking up the correct um, outputs. Alrighty, let's have a look. Let me bring up this guy here. All right. Okay, it's pretty small, but up here you can see it says compare credit card. So it has picked up the title there. If I go into compare one um, and go into more details, then it hasn't updated. That should say ANZ low rate up there. Oh, it was just it was just cached. All right, so each card is getting the title updated now as well. I know it's pretty small there, um, but yeah, that is how we use the Gatsby Head API. So just create that export head function, put in there the title and description, should be good to go, no longer need React Helmet. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if it's not. Thanks for watching, catch you next time, bye.